my name is Mario and this is Nickel Prince. The idea floated around to start a t-shirt business, uh, either my own designs or custom designs. Yeah. That was actually the first video I ever uploaded to this channel. It served as my channel trailer and I figured I'd give you all an update and update the trailer itself. A lot of things have changed since then, most notably my hair. <laughs> so really quick, what is Neko Prince? How has it changed and where do I see it going in the future? Neko Prince really did start off as my own little geeky, nerdy brand. I wanted to make a bunch of things that I always thought would be cool growing up and were never either available or I just couldn't get them. But it has evolved a lot since then, primarily because I don't really do that anymore. I started off with an Etsy store selling all these anime things and it was doing really good until it got shut down. But while the Etsy store was still going, I was building up my custom printing business under Knuckle Prints as well. I started to really focus more on the custom printing side of things and eventually that Etsy shop did get shut down because of all the copyright claims and stuff. Which I have a whole video explaining all of that so if you want to check it out I'll have it linked down below. Now as I was selling on Etsy and doing my custom printing, I started to come across a few issues that took me some asking on Facebook or some googling to figure out. Started getting some experience, learning a few tips and tricks, and it also helps that I'm pretty techy with things. So it's easy for me to pick up a new piece of technology or some new software and learn it. At the very least, get the basic functions down so I can start to use it. Now, during all this, I'm also having my regular 9 to 5, which is working IT. So during that time, my main focus was to grow my custom printing business as well as my Etsy until it got shut down. Now, while all of that was going on, I started making a couple of TikToks. I decided to start making some TikToks to be able to attract more customers to my custom printing business by showing the process of how the products are made. I always used to love watching the show how it's made and I figured it would be pretty cool if people could see how their custom orders are made. So I started doing that. I started making a couple of TikToks, but I started tagging them wrong. The hashtags I was using to attract those particular people were all wrong and I started attracting a different kind of audience. Most notably, viewers like yourself. You see, instead of using relevant hashtags that had to do with just the t-shirt and what it was about, I started using hashtags that had to do with the actual printing process. So instead of attracting the people that wanted to buy the product, I started attracting the people that wanted to learn how to make it. And I was totally cool with it. I thought it was pretty cool to be able to teach people how to do things. At least the methods that I used to be able to do things. So I started answering people's questions and I started making videos on the process of making t-shirts, how to print full color shirts, how to do certain things with vinyl, and tips and tricks. As I've been growing my custom printing business, it's also been helping me grow my YouTube and my TikTok channel, primarily by being able to offer to all my viewers all the different options that there are out there. All the different printing methods, whether it be vinyl, sublimation, DTG, DTF, the countless methods of printing, as well as share with you all tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. I really do enjoy making these videos. I really enjoy explaining to everyone how to do certain things. And that's what this channel is primarily focused on. The t-shirt and crafting business, the apparel decoration business. Now while there's a bunch of things out there right now that I have used and people are using, and there's also new things coming, there, there's just a bunch of things out there. I'm at the same time trying to figure out things that are about to come out how to up my game, and how to be able to help all of you stand out. Staying within the original nerdiness or geekiness of how Neko Prince started, there's a bunch of new tech out there that I've been trying to move into my craft. Certain things like augmented reality or virtual reality. I actually have a meeting room already set up in the metaverse in Altspace VR. One thing I've always wanted to do, and I did once but it kind of failed, was host a virtual meetup. Something in the metaverse, something that anyone can join, whether it be using a VR headset or a computer. So using Allspace VR, I actually have a full-on meeting room set up for that. I have models of t-shirts, heat press, games that you can play. It's pretty cool. And at the same time, I've been messing around with augmented reality, making t-shirts come alive with videos playing on top of them, things popping out, stuff like that. And at the same time that I'm learning these new techs, I will also be making videos on how you can learn them as well. So if all that craziness sounds good to you, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm sure a lot of these new things can be overwhelming. Learning a new craft in a t-shirt business or learning a new tech like the metaverse can be challenging, but I'm here to help you all through it. I hope I can make things easier for you all to understand, as well as give you some honest product reviews that will help you along in your business. Hopefully I can help save you some money as well as make you some money. With that being said, make sure to subscribe. Thank you all for being here and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.